So reintroducing myself, my name is Deandra Robinson, and I'm here to present and share ideas about the Fort Wayne Amazing Race. Our ideas will increase the participation, the dedication, and the republication of Fort Wayne. Okay. Our goal is to not be the top five boring state of America and try to be the top five most recommended. So moving on to our next slide. We should get a slide. Um, ask yourself these questions. Ask yourself these questions while watching this video. How many of you think that Fort Wayne is boring? And how many of you think that Fort Wayne isn't boring? And on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you even rate Fort Wayne? And I want you to think about like that while you're watching this video. practically get all the Fort Wayne community members to come together and experience what used to be Fort Wayne, how it used to be fun, active, and encouraging. And it will take place in the summer of 2018. And this will be the general location of where our race will be located. And Headwaters Park, this will be our first location in the race, and the physical um, task of this race is that participants will go around Headwaters Park racing in wheelchairs and they'll go around twice, and they'll, every time they hit one of the little pit stops, they'll have to get out the chair, spin around ten times on baseball bat, grab a note, get back in the chair, and continue racing. And then for the mental task, participants will have to go around Hubbard's Park searching for little map pieces, and every time they find a map piece, they'll have to put it together, and the first team to get all map pieces put together wins that part of the race. Okay, so our next spot is the Martin Luther King Bridge. So it was made and built into the summer of 2010 and it was done in 2012 and now it's like the most well-known place because of his bright colors so for the physical task they will crab walk across the bridge and then what well, they will kayak to the old fort after they get finished with their mental task first so their mental task is there will be like many different kind of um, quotes by Dr. Martin Luther King, but they will be mixed up with the uh, Lincoln and other important people quotes, and they will be like around this area. So there will be like they'll be spread all over the place. And the first person that finds it, they will just race to the kayak, the race to the kayak by the river, and race to our next location, which is. Uh, <laughs> so, so for the old four in this location, contestants will have to, uh, will uh, load muskets uh, with false shots and they will fire at actors who are playing Indians. Uh, after that, they will also load cannons and fire the same stuff at the actors who are playing Indians. And whoever uh, kills the most uh, Indians wins that round. And for the mental task, for this challenge, participants are told the layout of the old four. And they, will, and they will have little uh, miniature old fort buildings, and then they, and they will have to replicate the exact layout of the old fort. For the next location, I chose to do the General Anthony Wayne statue. And the physical detour would be that the participants would have to ride around the statue ten times on a horse. And if they don't know how, then there will be people to help them with that. And the mental detour, they would have to match pictures and words with parts of the statue. Okay, for the MSC Theater, it is very, very historical. Um, the architect is so cool in there. There's many different kind of things in there. And it's also very important for our economic because it brings in lots and lots of money. So I think that would be cool to do it there. And for the 
physical task they will perform in front of children. They actually have to make up like their own script and present it in front of small children and they have to be entertaining. And for the mental, they have to go up to the roof and actually read the instructions on how to build a kite and have it fly in the air. Okay, so this one next would be the history center. So for the physical task, uh, participants will try to break out of the jail that they have in the basement, and they will be given three objects. They will have 15 minutes to break out, and if they don't get out in time, they'll have to eat fried maggots. For the mental task, um, participants will choose 20 of the 26,000 artifacts that they have there, and they will have to put them in alphabetical. For the next location, the Allen County Courthouse was what we chose, and the physical detour would be that participants have to take 70 files and move them from one side of the building to the other. And the mental detour would be that the participants have to find their own file or another specific person. And the next one is Parkview Field. And for the physical task, they would have to hit 10 baseballs. And for the mental, they would have to match pictures with the players for the tin caps games. So for the Electron Building, our, ne our next location, the, the competitors have to find certain objects that are hidden inside the building. And they will have to go back out to the front of the building after they're done and present them to the owner of the building. And the, the mental task is the competitors have to learn the history of the building and will have to tell, say the exact words to the owner of the building and then they're at the number location. Uh, for the Lincoln Tower, the Lincoln Tower was one of our most historic sites in Fort Wayne as it was here in World War One. It used to be a German National American um, Bank. And for the physical task here, participants will have to drink five malts or malts made at the fountain shop in the bank. And then for the physical participant, no, the mental participants will have to find hidden items that were in the building during World War One when it was still a German National Bank. And then cathedral, the cathedral the physical task, participants have to go around the church or the cathedral, finding different crosses and putting them back where they were at the starting position. And then the mental task, participants have to match all different kinds of drinks in order. Okay, so this is the Nicole Weatherhawk. So for the physical, participants will ride a hoverboard around the building five times, and they'll have to spin around uh, ten times, and go inside, still riding the hoverboard, and have to find three different um, clues for a prize. For the mental, participants will identify each coin and they'll have to write the value that it is now, the value that it was back then, and the name. And then Fox Island. Fox Island will be practically the ending point of our race. It'll be where the first team <coughs> that completes all 12 of the locations and they make the Fox Island the first one to make their wins the entire race. And that's it. So, before we end, in conclusion, I know you guys have been here and you. Hopefully you don't forget about us. You're going to be here for a while hearing other people's presentations. But I think ours is different because we are trying to um, capture and motivate young kids to actually come and, like people around our age, to come and try to participate and have fun in Fort Wayne and show them different things because the kids are the future. And that's all. <coughs>